Welcome to this week's Admired by an Idiot. Uh, I'd like to talk uh, not about an individual this week. I'd like to talk about an organisation. And it's a very, very inspirational organisation, very close to Tob and Idiot's heart, and that's Zoo Nation. And a specific part of Zoo Nation, it's ZAD, the Zoo Nation Academy of Dance, which is their non-profit arm of the company, which gives opportunities to young people from all ages and backgrounds, from 4 to 21, to share their passion through music and dance. Um, it's brilliant. And um, I first encountered the work of Zoo Nation when I went with my family uh, a few years ago to the South Bank to see their production of Groove On Down the Road, their version of The Wizard of Oz. And it kind of blew me away. I mean, the first thing that struck me was the sheer diversity on stage. It was kind of brilliant. And as I looked around the auditorium, it was wonderful. You could see an audience seeing themselves on stage. And we all know how vital and important that is. It started in a, a London classroom and it looked like my kids' classrooms. It was fantastically diverse. Then there was the level of skill and physicality was was breathtaking. And then probably best of all was the sheer joy these young kids had in performing. At the time, Tom and Idiot, we were developing, beginning to develop our anarchic ske family sketch show, Get Happy, in co-production with The Barbican. And after seeing this show, I thought, what Get Happy needs is a dancer like one of these. So we were lucky enough to meet Mikey Eureta, who uh, in fact was in that show, played the Tin Man in Groove On Down The Road. And Mikey joined us to perform in Get Happy and choreograph it, and he was wonderful. And when we started rehearsing it, my son Dexter, who was three at the time, who had loved the show, uh, came into rehearsal quite a bit. It felt the, the right kind of atmosphere imaginatively for, for Dexie at the time. And he adored Mikey with a passion. I mean, so deep was Mikey's, uh, Dexter's passion for Mikey. I don't know how Mikey felt. No, I do. He got on well. But uh, so deep was Dexter's passion for Mikey that sometimes when Dexie wouldn't eat his uh, baked beans or something of a night, me and my partner would pretend to ring Mikey and say, Hey, Mikey, what have you had for your tea? And uh, we go, really? You've just eaten baked beans? Wow. And we look at Dexter and Dexter's face is like, oh my God, Mike is eating the same as me and he would wolf down his baked beans. So we did use that uh, to get him to eat his beans. Anyway, one day Mikey said to us, oh, there's this thing called Zad, where if Dexter's interested, he could go and do these classes. So we enrolled Dexter when he was about six in these Saturday morning classes. And from the word go, the skill, generosity, warmth and talent of these young teachers from Zoo Nation just shone out. And Dexter learned so much about being in a group and confidence and, 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 and discipline of learning a routine and it, it was kind of great and and they do that all through the year and then at Christmas time just before Christmas they'd all do a performance ad at the place theatre and I can safely say this performance at the place became one of my theatre highlights of the year and since then we've been very fortunate to work with uh, other Zoo Nation alumni uh, Nuna Sandy a uh, wonderful choreographer and uh, and dancer she came in and choreographed the dance hip-hop routine in The Strange Tale of Charlie Chaplin and Stan Laurel and did a brilliant job. And all I can say is when this dreadful situation that we're living through is easier and we can all go back to the theatre, there's one show I'm really looking forward to and it happens at the place just before Christmas. Because I tell you what, there's nothing quite like it. <laughs>